now we said it. Hey guys, welcome to But Now We Said It. We are here today to discuss the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Right, before we do that, we're going to play our fun little casting game. Yes. It's Housewife Hi. Friend Fired. And Jeff is going to kick us off with the Real Housewives in New York. I am. Okay, so I'm struggling to, with who to come up with, but I'm just going to shout it out. It's okay. like whatever comes to the tip of my mouth. Elise, Elise, Elise. <laughs> <laughs> um, and again, this is current Housewives. I just hate this because, like, I don't... You don't want to choose. And that's why... And I'm not putting Leah in because I want it... it, Because then it would be too easy. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. All right, guys. I'm doing it to you. Ramona, Sonia, Lou. OG feeling. I actually feel like I have this down. Same. Okay. You're scared? Shut up. It's such confidence. Yeah. Totally. I've got it. Ramona... Full time friend, or sorry, full t- full time housewife. Okay. Sonia friend, Lou fired. Oh, easy, easy okay. peasy. Okay. I think I'm the exact same. Yeah. Luann's never done much for me. She's doing the most she's ever done for me in these past two seasons. But I, I actually think that. she's doing the least. The like, least. I think, she's done, I think she she's actually the, has she, done like, a lot. Her prime was like six through nine. Yeah, ten. Ten. The rest. Yeah, I mean, she ten. Goes with the rest. Yeah. Maybe that's why I like her because she's doing the least. You know what I mean? Like, it yeah, makes, she, it likeable. makes her likeable, nice, makes her likeable, but not. Right. You're right. She was the best when she was. It's her character was married. villainous. Right. I mean, she has the most iconic housewife arc I've ever seen. I think truly, somebody truly. said this. Yeah. yeah, from that, from being, um, I'd like to be known as Mrs. De La Sapp, so You introduced me to the help, <laughs> to <laughs> fucking getting divorced, to, to not really. <laughs> yes, exactly. Getting railed out on railed out. Isn't that? Getting she, pounded. Wait, it's the same thing, right? Well, Are we talking about her getting having sex or what? Well, yeah, she got oh, pounded oh, down oh, in like St. Barth or whatever, and then drugs. drugs. I oh, know, sorry, like, no. I like, oh, I don't know about yeah. that. I'm like maybe. Me then getting never. arrested, getting married, get divorced. She, right. Iconic. Okay, iconic arc. But yeah, I think I think I agree that like. Because they are, they are are strong presences, but Lou is the least. So I agree, Sonia, friend, Mar- Ramona, full time. And I think Sonia is, she'll never be the star of the show. She's the fan favorite. Right. Yes, yes. Malcolm, give it to us. I'm nervous. <laughs> um, it's not that exciting. I would fire Luann. Um, she does nothing for me, honestly. Ooh, that's uh, fair. Ramona, keep for TV, housewife, and then friend. So next, I think she needs time to work on herself. That's fair. Right, that's that's said, yeah, yeah. That's actually yeah. a really good point. You know. Well, it's almost like you know, remember when Vicky was doing those pop-ins last season, giving us the in and out moments. The and in and stuff? out. Yeah. That's what Sony would do. She would just give us those moments. And every I was time great with it. In. Yeah. Yeah. I love a fast food, you know, <laughs> drop off. <laughs> Watch Jeff order at every drive-through in LA on his Instagram stories. I have a question while we're talking about <laughs> Sonya, yeah. or New York and Sonia. I've gotten feedback about people saying like Sonia is really hard to watch now. What are your thoughts on that? I not like in the sense of like I don't want to see her. It just you learn to love Sonia, right? Yeah. And she's just spiraling, and you're just like, Oof. but you're gonna watch I that. Your almost, child is watching that. I don't. I part of me likes to think, and maybe I'm wrong, but she's very smart and knows what the audience likes about her and maybe she leaned really far into it that's what i think but too. i mean like i don't think it's a spark. i don't know that i, I mean she it was could just like be, they want to see me drunk and having fun exactly and she too far in i think and that's, that's where the thing like same with dorinda where like we we really leaned into her insulting people and now she's i mean now she's in a different like darkness. <laughs> i'm like now she's not but not insulting people <laughs> right it, but like she's like Re- and people are getting pissed about I it. I agree. It's, it's so a do you slippery think slope because, like, I'm entertained, but like, totally. it's also hard to watch because I think there's like a sense of you that like cares, and you're just mm. like, Ugh. I for or me, I, for me, I love it. Funny because you're with the majority. A lot of people are like, so yeah, hard to watch. like it's so, and I'm like, yeah, I and especially as somebody like I, I don't recognize, like I don't think she's spiraling. So yeah, and I love her face transformation. Yes, like in so mid season, her face was the roughest it's ever looked. It was puffy when she was at right. Ramona's birthday. Right. She looked like a different, a different person. She looked like, I think I said this, Brittany Murphy from Girl in Terms. <laughs> yes. Like puffy and blue. Yeah. Like it was the, the first thing, yeah. time that she's aged, right. I would say. And in those confessionals now, in the pink, oh her my face God. is but that laid down perfectly. 80s brick background is tough. tough. Yeah. If you have tough. a neck like that, you can have whatever you have behind you. I don't, I'm neck. struggling with it. I'm struggling with that it. That 70 grand neck. Good for her, girl. Yeah. yeah. 70 grand. Can she afford that? 
No. No. Speaking of 70 grand necks, should we peek on over to the Real House of Beverly Hills? Yes. Good yes. segue. I like that. <laughs> so we didn't actually go through last week's episode. Um, so we're going to touch on both last week's in Rome and then we'll dive into this week's Beverly Hills. Rome and beyond. Rome and beyond. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they had that like um, wild... What was the dinner? It was Denise Gunn's place. Yeah. I have to say this because this has been probably the worst trip I've ever been on in my entire life. That is the truth. I don't deserve this. And you know that. Who do you feel attacked? And I did not Wait, attack you. Wait, you have not attacked me? You drag in. Brandy? That's not cool. And you know what? It has gotten to the point, this is the God's honest truth, where it is mean girls. Really. They were getting. Were they getting? Were they at like a pizza parlor? Yeah, it was very. That they were in it was, and yeah. I love that. And that felt super New Jersey, like just a pizza parlor. Denise comes in, high pony, not a stitch of makeup, <laughs> and a fur. I think it was a fur, and just comes in, just like, yeah. At first, having a grand old time. Yeah, she was <laughs> laughing. <laughs> you know, and everyone's like, Denise, it is so nice to just relax with you. She's like, it really is. She's like. But anyway, she's like, fuck all of you. <laughs> now I'm going to lay into your ass. She's like, Teddy, you're filthy. Kyle, you're a cu- I mean, oh, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. It's just, you know, she. <laughs> she went in. <laughs> she went in. Um, and I was, I'm obsessed with Denise Richards. I'm th- obsessed with her. But not all heroes wear capes. Some wear a microphone and a pack. Chris Cullen. You going back is a big mistake. They it is. Are Let me just say something. Assholes. You can't come in here and make a big speech like that and then not hear anybody else's opinion. Mr. Chris Christopher Cullen saved the get, fucking day. Can, can I get Chris Cullen? Chris <laughs> Cullen. Denise, you can't just make a huge speech like that and then not listen to anybody else. It'll be in your best interest to go back. Or it'll be a be- big mistake if you don't go back. Right. Which for me, if I were a housewife and I made my dramatic exit, and I have production coming to me, which they don't do, say, get the fuck back to your post, I would be like, oh, maybe I'm doing something wrong here. And like, own your shit, which is my next point. How many times have we heard say Denise say the same speech? A million times, a million? She always, and she always leaves. And I was saying this to them earlier, like, as a human being, I love somebody going in there and just like annihilating everybody one by one and being like, later on Peace. out. Um, but it's a housewife. Like I need rebuttal, and I think Chris right. was just like <laughs> Denise. We've done like, this enough this season. <laughs> he's like, this has never been done before. <laughs> like, what are you? Right. Yeah. And I think that's the thing is, girl, you get paid to do this. Yeah. Like, this is your the this, biggest check out of anybody. This is literally like me showing up to the hospital and be like, mm, I don't <laughs> feel like doing this, so I'm gonna head out. And like, it's like, like it's, I can't do that, so neither can you. And it's not only like the housewives that aren't getting clarity, we aren't getting yes. clarity. And that's right. who the show is for. So like, do your fucking job. Yeah, we need to keep, we need to, because otherwise we're in that same hamster wheel, like the same dinner, they, they get nowhere, they get nowhere. So that's what I said to you guys too, is like, it was the first time as a viewer, I was like, Denise, don't you fucking leave. Right. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, baby girl, <laughs> please don't. Yeah. You kind of like see yeah. they're fresh. And that's kind of like where I've stood the whole season is like, I know that she's been doing this so much, like just from like while they were filming all the blogs coming out and all of that. It's like some of the things that they were attacking her for was like a weird hill to die on. But I get their frustration right. because there's so many times where she's just trying to self-produce and you can't do that. They're at the point where it's, yeah, they're not ta- they're not attacking her for things that had happened. They're attacking her for not talking about these things. That yeah. It would be so easy for her to be like, you know, listen. My man or my relationship is like, <laughs> y'all listen, what? Listen. Y'all listen. <laughs> y'all listen. Um, it's my like relationship. Like, all you have to know is that me and my husband are happy. This affects me and my family and my kids. Please cut it out. And like, that's it. Or just say, my sex life is none of your business and I, keep it moving. Right. Yeah. True. And like, goddamn business, Kyle. <laughs> but then again, tone, she yeah. has that confessional where she says, if I had hooked up with Brandy Glanville and I came home and told Aaron, I'd say he'd say, "Why didn't you invite me?" And that it's was, like that was a good Denise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. It's just 
also the frustration yeah. of Beverly Hills of them harping on the same yes. thing. Like, had we not had Candy Gate and had we not had Lucy Lucy Apple Juice, what was season eight? There what was, was season one, eight? Uh, Best Friend Gate, where they all were. Fighting Is that what it was? Best Friend Gate, That's like disgusting. LVP and or D- Dorit and Kyle were fighting for what? LVP's friendship. That is it was the weirdest, and it though. doesn't go anywhere. Like this Sydney storyline is actually fun and different, and it's bringing Brandy back. But the fact, <laughs> fun. <laughs> Wait, you know what I mean? Like, I actually do love this season. It's it, fine. I do too. It's just move it forward. But what it is mm-hmm. too is that we're. I think you're in the same spot. Where we're like. We're loving it for what it is. People are so harping. I'm like, oh, it's blah, blah, blah. This is what Beverly Hills does, one storyline. I'm like, listen, I don't disagree. But I'm like, if this is what we're going to get, one storyline, this is at least the best right. mo- This is the best version of that model. Yeah. It's kind of crazy because, again, everyone says, like, early one through three Beverly Hills, even one through five, mm-hmm. you could say, were, like, some of the best seasons I think of five is their best season, yeah. Oh, I think one through three are, like, mm-hmm. my favorite of all Housewives. But still. Five. <laughs> Four, like, yeah. Again, if you love that, you're getting that right now in a sense. I know there's more re- repetitiveness uh, this season, but like, unfortunately, the dark storylines is what the early seasons were. And that's what I was saying. And that's I what's love dark. I love Kim and Kyle dark. I like the alcoholism. I love like the what happened to Kim's goddamn house. And like, right. blah, it's blah, not blah. that you wish this upon people, but if it's being documented and Some it's people. happening, no. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a fascinating thing to watch. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I always say. People are like, I am so, I actually, it drives me nuts more than anything when these housewife viewers, there, there's no pleasing them on Twitter, especially, <laughs> Twitter. No pleasing them. especially for Beverly Hills. So especially yeah. for Beverly Hills. Just, it's like, ridiculous. That's a, different. It's too dark. That's like, this is boring. This is so insignificant. They want these insignificant trivial storylines but then they're like this is too ridiculous and then if it gets dark this is too dark right. i'm like listen i was here for like russell suicide russell beating like, right i was here been for through it. it yeah yeah season two was probably one of the darkest housewife seasons ever. yeah and then was it at the end yeah and then that was yeah, yeah. oh I mean, that's when they had to i actually was and then kim the had a rough season that i season. had to find it this is like we're going off for a second because I realized on Hulu, the start of season two is actually not what aired. I had to find this on YouTube. The start where they put in the little segment addressing Russell's death. Right, right at the beginning. Oh, it's not on Hulu. It's not. And I kept thinking, I was like, where did I see this? Like, why am I so confused? And it's not in the Hulu it's version. It's on That's YouTube. Also on yeah. Hulu. Didn't they not air the thing with Brandy and Adrian? They like That was season of, three, but on, yeah. They didn't air, yeah. air it at all, I think. No, yeah. they yeah. um they bleeped it out when she said it at yeah. the table. Yeah. Oh, okay. They never said what it was, but everyone knew what it was from the tabloid. Which is so funny because right. I think now they totally, I don't know. Yeah. Right. Well, well it's, <laughs> I was just going to say, fuck. Oh, the fact that Taylor Armstrong was broke, her husband killed herself, and still showed up to every single dinner, one-on-one Thank scene. You. Like, wow. Denise Richard, point. you can show the fuck up, and you yeah. can go at it. Taylor literally had a broken eye socket. <laughs> and showed and up, showed up to filming. That, but, like, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's just well, like, she did, didn't Commitment. She? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but like, ladies, you can take a rest. If right. You, so that's <laughs> take right. a day Denise, off. Yeah. Denise was sick tonight for right. the baby shower. Taylor <laughs> forgot about her daughter sick. and oh. her whereabouts. Oh, oh that's the best TV. Call. You have Kennedy. Kennedy's at our house. And then Kyle goes, Kyle's like, <laughs> Her and Kim are like, what uh-huh. the fuck? You know, Kim's like, thank God this bitch is messier than me. <laughs> 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 Makes me look good for a second. Uh, Speaking, but, sorry, oh, yeah. Yeah. Cam no, like, Kim, oh, sure. when she showed up to that Teddy Mountain Cash's baby shower, she looked fucking phenomenal. She looked amazing. Phenomenal. I we love our Kim Richards. She looked adorable as a button, that little, what is it called? A band, not a headband, a headband. We yeah, also did a headband. this earlier, but how about Rinna and Kim talking about <gasps> their like Thanksgiving dinner? Kim and I may end up related through marriage, God forbid, but it could happen. This is our karma. This is our yeah, karma. That was right our here. karma. <laughs> right here. Can you picture me and Kim Richards in the kitchen basting a f-ing turkey together? I, I, I was, was, wait, wait, And did you guys know that I didn't know that Amelia was dating no, Widermore? No. I did. I feel they talked about it at BravoCon. That's oh, why. The Fat Burger people. I was at yeah. Fat Burger the other day and I said thank you to Kim Richards. <laughs> Daughters, <laughs> sons, family. Yeah, that, that's who owns Fat Burger. Oh yeah, the water. They're all. Fat. That's why they're always at the party. Yeah, oh, this, the water stars have aligned so much with Lisa and Kim right. having potential family. And I, know I mean, yeah, that, like I love that they were able to laugh. I love that Kim said, "This is our karma." <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I was like a great. Like I felt good. 
I felt really good right. about that. And then I felt good in a different way when things went south. <laughs> it gives me it's two different types of good feelings. Agreed. Just yeah. thinking about that, it's like Kim just needs to come back now with that storyline with Rena, Kyle. She's more interweaved now more than I ever. I agree. And guess what? We talked about this earlier, but like Kyle, like you said, the thing that riles her up the most is her sister. Kim. Yep. But what's even crazier is when Kim's on it and they're fighting – Kyle's a different person. Completely. So like, yes, other people can rile them up about her sister, but no one riles her up more than Kim does. And Kim Kim's also puts her in her place. Yes. Yeah. And she snaps and she goes, okay. And like, what it is too is when Kim's not there, she wants to be like, this is light, playful, fun group. Like, this is girlfriends. All of a sudden, Kim steps in. None of that <laughs> girlfriend stuff is there. And it's like, Kim, fuck you. Kim, why are you doing this? Why are you acting? You're completely, you're completely a completely different person. This was yesterday. No, that was this morning. No, I, Kim, it was have, yesterday. My <laughs> opinion of right, Kyle just, changed yeah. as soon as Kim was gone. 100%. Well, I mean, not gone, but like not full time. Right. She, was she is a different housewife yeah. than she was seasons one through five. Because right. Kim is toxic. In the <laughs> best, best way. way. <laughs> no, I I don't know. I look at I, the early seasons, and sure, there probably is a lot of stuff we don't know that Kim does. But the way Kyle treated her in the early seasons. But I also I see this. I treat her the same way. I've been rewatching it, and I'm like, I don't fault you, Kyle. So what really it don't. is, it's dealing with an alcoholic, and you have no idea. What we were seeing is a speck that, of how much it is. True. Right. I actually told, don't fault Kyle. That's why I think Kyle gets a lot of hate. They always go back to like, Kyle was so rude to Kim. That's and true. I'm like, I, what she would. Right. Yeah. I, I, mean, I hate Kyle for everything unrelated to Kim. See, that's weird because for me, like, the early Kyle. seasons is where I did not relate to Kyle at all. I actually, but, and I found a tweet on my old Twitter from 2011 and said, I fucking love Kyle Richards and she responded. She said, I love you too. So, <laughs> yeah, this is my old person's Twitter and then I wiped it all clean. Smart. Like, I'm even yeah. recalling from the episode where I think Eileen was hosting um, a party or whatever and Kim was not well and Kai was like, stay, stay and like eat pizza, like stay and like. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then Kim like turned it into this huge like, you want me for well, the camera? Kim was also really fucked up on the pain no, but Even even Did at the reunion, she still yes. like stood by that. And Kai was like, no, bitch, you were about to be on TV and like get in a camera and then say God knows what after like your train or your Uber ride with Lisa. That was I that mean, was, guys. That's like, my favorite where's housewife my pizza? scene of all time. Is right. That limo or not limo? That <laughs> SUV scene because. It is so insane. Poor it is Lisa, so good. Right. That's when whenever I try to show somebody that's like not a Housewives fan or like my straight brother or whatever, yeah. or I'm always like, watch this. And they're always like, what? Right. Eileen's oh, husband sends me every time. Oh, in the garage? Oh, yes. through that garage. Yes. He's probably like, what the fuck is happening? That is the ideal housewife husband. Mm -hmm. The one that like is very into the drama, <laughs> but he's in the like garage right. window. But through, looking. A, through a looking He's right. not right. involved. Literally. Andy yes. Cohen's like, oh, I thought that was someone from production. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but bring it back to not season five. Yes. But Teddy Mellencash's baby shower in Pico if you de call Peppo and Teddy Mellencash one more fucking time. <laughs> but that baby shower was sad and it was torturous. It was about to her. three. I think it's very yeah. um, for is it fortuitous. The right word of what her um, yeah her future I, is going to be. I said this what, to you guys before. Being bullied by these um, men. No, not coming back <laughs> well, next season. She's coming back. No, but we said this before too. Is or I said this is that. Um, she had her title card, did a little thing. I, first of all, I realized where we've barely seen her title card all season. I was like, that's what that was. There was like. a whole episode that she didn't have a confessional. I said, but Sutton had one yeah. where she was dragging Teddy. And I was like, <laughs> that's what that looked like. But so then all of a sudden we see her title card. It's like for her baby shower, we didn't see Teddy for minutes. It was, it was everyone else getting ready. And then finally, I think Teddy showed up to her own scene. Yeah. What could a Teddy have done to get it? <laughs> like, to get. Time? Do we think uh, that Teddy no option. was demoted when Sutton was going to be full time, and then re when she was pregnant? Promoted? No, no. Or do you no. think that it was going to be eight full time I think, housewives? I really think Kyle has a lot of pull with production, and I do think that their friendship runs really, really. Deep. They're super connected with the butthole. Right, exactly. But yeah. I don't think she'll last after this. I mean, season. I the know. real lesbian affair is really between them. I feel. I mean. They've been talking about it all season. Although, remember Teddy's reaction to lesbian stuff? Kissed. 
With mouth open. <laughs> I will say, the only thing I want from Teddy Mellencamp is rewatching that scene over and over again. Kissed. And then, yeah, you everyone knows I'm bisexual. Uh, no, no, I, I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that. So, so taken it so back. much. Taken it's, it really, back. it's really bad, Denise. It's really, yeah. bad. it's really bad. She said that you guys had sex. <laughs> she said that Brandy Glenville said you guys had sex. <laughs> so wad, mouthful of spit. I've never seen someone with so much saliva. <laughs> she needs, you know, like the dentist thing where they like, yes. sort of, I want it. Con- if she had that in her mouth, I would maybe allow her to move on for another season. I cannot, oh cannot with that marble spit mouth. <laughs> I know it's mean. I know it's mean. I'm aware of it. I can't help it. Well, let's dive into these text messages. So, well, let's start back. So they're all talking about it. Denise doesn't show up. She's sick. And then Brandy in this fluke well, invite. Before Brandy even gets there, we have the Rina v. Garcelle, which oh, we haven't. Right. That was to me. Garcelle, why? Oh, I loved it. She was trying that to That one I loved. Which, I did not love the Amelia one. Is it was, necessary? Yes. Wait, what did you Garcelle well, Gage? She like, said, because okay. Rena, <laughs> every time we talk about Erica, um, like, oh, yeah. Way, right. It, Rena brings it back to her, which she kind of right. does. But it's, like, it's not Teddy's like a, fucking baby shower. Oh I, oh, I don't care. Oh, no. oh. I, I want people to, I want these housewives to ruin other people's events. I'm <laughs> no, not right. that. No, 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 no. Yeah, if it's a wedding, I don't care. Ruin but it. no, but, like, they were talking about Erica going, so that's why. I think. Right, it, but, like, it was, it was so unrelated. No one was ever thinking about, like, Lisa Rinna, like, making it about her. And then they were getting ready to, like, applaud Erica for being on. I think and Garcelle like, goes, I love you, Lisa Rinna, because you're so supportive of your friends, but you also, like... Well, I, I think that's what I love about her. No, I... She act- just puts that out there. But I think she's her doing that, but, yeah, because she thinks, like, I'm supposed to do this because I'm on right. the show. Right, Do you think? I, mean, I yeah, feel like her over- timing is just bad. I think it's no. one, per- one second premature, always. always. Yeah, she's always. like, yeah. I'm supposed to do it now. Like, it's just... However, she's right in that, in a sense. She I is so, kind of a right. She's, a, like, at, at the thing she took the award for, like... Half of my friends are here. And then she did it. Well, some of them or something. Yeah. No, she yeah. said. But at that point, too, friends. she was only like barely into filming. So she was already trying to almost like act petty right. in that thing when you right. were. Yeah, like or she's, she's, no, it's, they were too much. More than no, two No, no, I know. But even so, it's still like. Mm. It's too soon. And then she did it again, like when they're all sitting in a circle. And then. I think she claps back at Dorit, and Dorit's like, I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, yeah. Dorit like, was like, right. whole circle. Wait, it's like, Dorit Dorit's like, I speak five languages, but I don't speak yours. <laughs> 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 no, it was like, I think it was with Kyle or something. And then, I forget huh. what. But it was something I saw, I remember. And then, so Dorit was like, well, like, what do you actually mean? And Garcelle was like, no, this is none of your business. I'm talking to whoever. Uh, and Dorit, Dorit was like, like, actually, we're in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, so this bad. is when she was saying that Kyle doesn't take the time to get to know her. Yes. Uh, I uh, actually love, Dorit does this thing, too, where, like, she'll be like, actually. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> actually, and it's yes. always going to be good. I love that. Actually, what that reminds me of is Eileen. With, actually, you did it. Oh, yeah. Actually, you did it. <laughs> Actually, you didn't. You know, I don't like you. Good. <laughs> Are we going to post we that video of his reaction that? video? Right, yeah, yes. we should. We have a reaction video of that. It's incredible, it's guys. It's so good. We literally quote that fight if like every episode. In my day, you I quoted at least once a day. The yeah. friend that was just calling me when he when his thing comes up, it's literally Kim leaning across the table at her. And then like when I call him, it's... Rina. I think it's Rina that's smashing the glass. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. But, but so back to this back season. To right. this season. <laughs> it always comes the back glory to days. It always comes back to season five. So Garcelle right. premature is what we're Right. Yeah, too yeah. premature. Her timing's off. Um but, but you know, she also apologized well, which was good. She's she's good at that. She's right. good at that. She's but good I also at... I almost don't want apologies. Right, <laughs> just no, I want, apologies. No, I want them eventually. Eventually. Four oh, yeah, episodes yeah. after. Four episodes <laughs> That's after. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. That's like perfect. you know who's actually good at doing that? Tamara. Right. Tamara has the game yeah, down. Yeah, you're right. Tamara has the game it's, down. Like no other has. I really do it's, think. I, I, they made well. the wrong I, decision on the Trace Amiga. I actually, yeah, yeah, my, I actually think opinion. Tamara will be back. Oh, she oh, for has sure. to be. But so, it'll be, yeah. yeah. Back to Beverly Hills yeah. and Teddy, Mellon, and Cash. <laughs> Sorry, and one more thing about Kristoff. <laughs> Even though like, I've been on her, I do like her. Her confessional. Yeah. Wait, she was wait. like, I don't always want to own it. Rina is too aggressive and she wants everybody to own it. If you want to be here, you're here. If you don't want to be here, then go. I don't always want to own it. It's exhausting to own it all the time. It's fucking exhausting. All of her other like, that is real. I like that. All that of her is, other episodes, yeah. you were like, Garcelle. And now you're like twisted on her. 
Well, because it's I'm <laughs> learning more as we go. <laughs> it's good to be able to like recognize your yeah. faves you know, are hot like flaws. Right. I like You're this right. I hate yeah. like the LVP stands cannot recognize so their faves have flaws. That's my issue with right. and I'm, I know we keep going off track. That's yeah. my issue with stand culture. Period is that like they can never once they're like I'm stand they can never look outside and see anything wrong right. whether it's a reality character with music like you know I love Lana Del Rey guys. I'm like, I didn't like this album or this song or this, right. that, and the other. When people stand, it's, they cannot see outside of their little ugly fucking directional eyes. Right. Or whatever, you know. <laughs> that was a meme. Aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's what it is with, okay. So, so moving on from Garcelle. Now, Brandy, Brandy's in the neighborhood. I think she should stop by. <laughs> She's and poor, Okay, and poor production putting fucking poor Kim up to this shit. I know. Right. They're like, they're like Kim, you know what you gotta do. She's like, <laughs> yeah. Um, and they're like, yeah, she's invited. Duh. Yeah, and no, and Teddy's like, what do you mean she's invited? Because she can't play the game. And Kyle's like, <laughs> and Kyle's like, wait, she is invited. And everyone's so thrown. And you could tell they all kind of were like, fuck, we did that weird. Because right. like they know they Again, had to yeah, do it for the show. It That's the most insulting thing they could do to us. It's yep. like. We've been watching this. Same with whenever Brandy said, Brandy um, Why are you guys going to Rome? Bitch, you've been on this show before. You know why they're going to Rome. Don't, that's insulting to the viewers. Like, yeah. Just, it's like saying, like, Why are they going to lunch together? You don't like each other. It's like, We want you to break the fourth wall, yeah. but we don't want you to be that, like, stupid. Right. Yeah. But so then she's in the neighborhood, <laughs> full get up with a gift. Full hair and makeup. And she comes in. Honestly, I, I felt bad when she walked in. Like, something about her presence made me kind of sad. Because it was just sad and well, she, We all knew what was coming. Thing. And it wasn't the Capri room. The, the Capri room was great, guys. I, not, an, not an ick of sadness. I love the Capri room. Can we go there? Yeah, uh, yeah. We should film there. We need to do it. But I can't because it, it's... It's indoor. Yeah. Yeah. But... but we we will eventually can. get to the yeah. Capri... The, can we smoke Capris in the Capri room? Is that asking a lot? Is it Capri... It? I thought it was. Have you ever had a Capri cigarette? No. Like, well, what the skinny ones. cigarettes? Oh, oh God, yeah, I've had one of those. Yeah, the Anyways, skinny bitches. Don't smoke. Mm. It's a Capri. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it actually is. I guess, yeah. <laughs> don't smoke. Don't smoke. Also, Kyle throwing shade at Dorit's room while she's praising it at the same time. What Loved is she saying? She oh my God, this is fantastic. Do I feel like I've been transported to Capri, Italy? It, it looks amazing. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, okay. But honestly, I've seen the before and afters, and I did take another look today, my morning look, and it does look much different than the old one. Right. It looks better that, than the old one. Because Buco de Beppo, there's like there's not much confetti you can do. on She the still floor, had to remain Buco de Beppo. And it's like that Italian pizzeria. Like, I'm sure there's a transformation between It them. almost feels a little Maggiano's. Yes. <laughs> okay. So she's upscaling Buca de Bep because it still had to remain the energy of Buca de Bep. Right. Yeah. But Buca's not Buca de Bep like by Dorit. Right. No. It no. feels it's it's. Buca I don't know. Bep. Is it is it about the same as an Olive Garden? I would say yeah, a step above. A step above. Okay. It's like a cheesecake factory. Yeah. yeah. With just it? like a sprinkle of Beverly Beach. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> um, okay. Back to Brandy. Sorry. Oh my God. Sorry, Brandy sorry, sorry, arrived. Sorry. Brandy comes in. Pony is swinging, and yeah, and then the, the her neighbors are not neighbors. Teddy's, Teddy's friends, friends are like, should we go? Should we go? Should we go? <laughs> we gotta Teddy's get friends are just as much like a, little losers as she is. Like, well, Guys, what's they're happening? petrified to be in Buca de Peppo. Like, what <laughs> okay, the fuck are we doing it's here? Beppo. Buca de Beppo. Buca, whatever. <laughs> it's the BDB, the Buca de Beppo. The Buca de Beppo. Okay, so I could see. Remember when Lisa Reno was like, but I got when she's doing it. That's Lisa Reno. What was that? <laughs> no, season five. We're when just she's speaking like, talk. Yeah. <laughs> season five when she's getting ready for acting, as acting preparation oh, for the your car. words. Oh. She, yeah, she should be doing like Buca de Peppo. <laughs> um, she's saying red leather, yellow leather. Yeah, 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 okay. So, whatever. She sits down there. Those little <laughs> guys, get out of my face. I know. <laughs> those trashy, ladies, but... that was so trashy. But actually, <laughs> actually, I have way more respect for both of you. <laughs> so, she, they sit down, and then Brandy's like, so, like, what's going on? And they're all just kind of like, so, are you going to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I love your impression. It's just like... I listen, I'm all for like trying to prove yourself, defend yourself. I just don't like aimlessly handing your phone to a group of people to fully scroll. It wasn't screenshots. It was like every pretty mama text. <laughs> but that they've ever she's like, sent. my password for this, my password's in the right. room. Imagine yeah. you're also on national television being called a liar 
do you let that happen and not prove yourself? I just think you could have done way. it. Yeah, in you like could totally a few do. screenshots that you sent into a short. Like, maybe just I didn't like the phone at that dinner passed on the table. Like maybe if she had done the phone with one person in the division, right, that, that person related and said like mm-hmm. I like with Kyle and Kyle's like no, I saw them. You know right. what? I it was needed. the passing around. Right. I needed like this isn't coke. One of those like official Night like of orange like, <laughs> envelopes where she had the text messages all printed Print out, out and pass it. Uh, yeah. out. Wait, was that Everyone. in Atlanta and Hawaii? Or something? Yeah, can did they do that? Yeah. This is a screenshot of the text. Finally got my phone back on. It's been broke for three days. By the way, I've been laughing every day since Queens. We was turned up for real. Just want you to know I'm not going to rape you on camera, so no worry. But like, also, <laughs> since, like, uh, Lucy Juicy, Apple Juicy, whatever her name is, <laughs> Lucy, I don't trust text anymore because, one, we know how easy it is to delete a text from a thread. And totally. Teddy did it in that whole thing. To did Theodore do that? Did she? I don't think she, she ever proved. I don't think she ever showed her text. Some yeah. she was involved in some text. Some texts were shown. I remember. Texts yeah. were taken out. That was with too. Blizzard. Right. That was with Blizzard. John Blizzard. Guys, yeah, I don't, I'm well, sorry. I'm, I apologize sorry. for saying that name. I never want to say it again. <laughs> Blizzard. We love Blizzy in this house. We do. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you friends with them? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, sorry. 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 Blizzard, sorry. This is about whatever. you. This is no, just yeah. about like if you're going to like show text, don't. Delete because one other person has the right. delete. Totally, yeah. I agree. Okay, but there's no way that Brandy's faking two years of things. I mean, that's like quite right. craft to go through. To and get Brandy's back not on the that show, like... to get herself out of right. that. Problem. But I just no. think those texts weren't that incriminating. Is that the right? But word? they will show but... us more. Like, like I said, I think it's a way of teasing. Be like, and we're like, wait, that doesn't prove it. They keep wanting us to be like, that doesn't prove they it. They want yet. us on the fence. That doesn't right. prove it yet. And, and then she's even been saying, sorry, that like at the end it will come out. Yeah. yeah. Andy says. Hey, pretty, do you want to have a girl's day on Wednesday? We can do lunch or dinner or just hang out. Denise says, yes, would love. This text is from a year ago. Uh. Denise says, even if we went a year or five years without speaking, I can always pick up where we left off and my loyalty doesn't change, but I still care and love you. So I'm wondering if more of them were supposed to come out in the like, because there's only 15 episodes. Right. It's supposed to be 20 or 19 or something. I wonder if more of them were supposed to come out in the end, but now they're just going to come out in either in the finale or the reunion right. or any of that. But what what it did prove was Denise was lying about the nature of their relationship, yeah, period. That's what she Denise started. did not need to say, oh, I just know her. I talked to her a couple times. Like, girl, you've been texting with this girl for two years. Like, right. How do you think that she's not going to be able to prove that to people? Yeah. And like I said before, I think Denise is just so consumed with this, like, celebrity culture that she was in. And so she's just used to, like, feeding shit to the paparazzi to kind of, mm-hmm. like, here's some information, go take it and run, go to the media. Right. And, like, I'll, like, Or she gets whatever with... she her way, essentially. I have to admit, I completely just, like, blacked, blacked out, out and started thinking about us going to Orange County to get our radius. <laughs> I completely I saw up. you. You like had it that so written <laughs> for like yeah, for like for like two minutes. I was thinking about like our. Oh my gosh, our draw lines are gonna look uh-huh. so great. Sorry, Steve and I are gonna head to Orange County soon to get a. <laughs> I don't know. I blacked out. What happened? <laughs> happening? So take your wow. We're talking about now. Denise, how okay, she's okay. not owning like her friendship. No. And that was really dumb. And I was saying earlier that like all she could literally be like Brandy's one of my best friends. We've never fucked. That's plausible. I have many yeah. best friends, we and I don't know fucked. why she's saying this. Like this is so weird. Or. None of your business. Yeah. Right. Let's move on. Like and back to the radius chance. No, <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's and, like, and I, so I think we, I told, might've told you guys earlier, um, something came out today. Christian Gray Snow said that allegedly for the reunion, Denise was all like geared up thinking she got the like good edit, all of this stuff. What is his name? Christian. What is his real name? Christian Snow. What's the gray? His middle name. Shut that's really up, his whole Gray name, Snow. Christian Gray. That's really is his that whole 50 name. Shade? Yeah, that's yeah. why I was yeah. like, I thought his real name is Christian Gray Snow. Yeah, and my name's fucking Jeff, Jeff Epstein. Epstein? <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go and ahead. this is Ghislaine Maxwell. Just kidding. Where is he going? I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> kidding. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay, sorry. So yeah, she. Um. Anyhow, he said that. You know, Denise was all prepared, like, I got my good edit, whatever. She got what she wanted. (laughs) Apparently, they flipped the script on her, and she's going to, like, at the reunion, going to have a lot of harder time. The reason they did that is they didn't want her to not show up. 
Yeah. Right. Um, knew that she would so there. I think that's again where Brandy's going to be able, and she's not at the reunion, but she's going to have her own segment. I think her tell all, her tell all moment. And if we don't get it in the finale, I think we'll get a lot more there. Right. We shall see. I think, I think they'll give us a more like justifiable piece of evidence. Right. So that some, so it's like <laughs> 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 somewhat concrete. Then going into the reunion, we'll see it all battled out. And then, yeah, I guess another cliffhanger at the reunion for like, wait for Brandy's tell all. It's like, come on. But right. like, that's it's how like, they do it in Beverly Hills. Yeah. At this point, I don't even care if they hooked up or not. No, we, like, yeah. I'm just saying, I just want Denise to be up there and be like, do you know that you can't do this as a housewife? Do you say sorry? And saying, like, sorry. you can't just leave, not address things. That's what I want resolution for. I don't give a fuck if she hooked up with Brandy. No, we I, all, and everybody yeah. has said that unanimously. The girls in the show are like, we don't care about that. It's just about the way she's going about it. And I, I said this too. I tweeted that. I posted it. I was like, but I want good Denise af- to like acknowledge that. Yes. That's we all, all I do. Want. I said, good <laughs> afternoon to Denise Richards, even though I know you're lying, but I don't care. Like, <laughs> I, I'm obsessed with you. You're my favorite. I know you're lying. I wish you'd handle it differently. That's what the girls are saying. That's what everyone's right. saying. That's it's the thing. Just, is, like, she literally could have had. Ooh. A breeze of a season if she mm. just handled things. Happy nine twenty nine to Denise Richards. Yeah, happy yeah. Night. I don't. It's nine. It's nine thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I <laughs> like it. Just. But this also means. I I also saw this week. Garcelle said, in an interview, that if Denise doesn't come back next season, she won't come back next season. Which I think is a very right. interesting dynamic that could happen. Has a housewife year. ever said that before? Like I won't. I'm sure they have, it. but like. But you saw, oh wait, wait, did you guys see that Candace said like I won't be back if. Oh yeah. Right. It's like. Don't yeah, we won't, all right, we won't. Which get crazy is the cast has the least power. power. It's yeah. Like, they gotta realize that they think they have the most power, but they literally have the least. Yeah, and it's not like again. I think Denise and Garcelle are in a unique spot because they actually have star power right. and they prob- Bravo wants them there. Yeah, no, that leverage is kind of like. What but I like mean, Candace yeah. has zero leverage. <laughs> right. Candace no. like. It's weird. That's Candace weird... owns a bicycle. Right. <laughs> if that. She doesn't own anything. Yeah. No, so it's like they do have leverage. We'll see what happens. I, you know, we were talking about this before where it's like Denise is in a contract, but they will either buy her. I don't they think don't she, she can't quit, rest. I think, because of her contract. Right. So they're either going to like get her out of it and they'll pay her out or however they do I don't it. think that she gets paid for anything mm, after. She'll yeah. get like a payout. A payout. Yeah, a payout. Is, I mean, the yeah. Something. Or they will bring her back, but like it's going to be entirely different. It's either like you're going to show up and play this game or like because we had first season days like fish out of water. This is weird, whatever. And then second season of her being like, I'm I don't want to do this, even though when she does do it, she's so good at it. She could be good, but she doesn't want to do the reality TV thing. So now it's like, what are we going to get? She's going to redeem herself third season. I think she's like, okay, now I get it. You guys want to I know how to like do it. Who's she gonna be friends with, and who is she gonna address what happened and say, you know, guys, I lied. Let's move well, she's on. She's friends like, with Dorit Garcelle. Um, that's it. But that's wait, okay. Wait, did you guys see the preview finale? Her meeting up with Camille. Yes, yeah. I was like, I thought it was that I was, was so bizarre. I was in the middle of something too, so I didn't know if I was like, I was just kind of scattered, and I was like, hold on. Yeah, yeah they filmed that last week, probably. Hundred <laughs> um, percent. We were seeing that live in the preview. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where was I? Something on the top of my head. Uh, Denise and Camille. So Denise and Camille. why were they like what, what they hate, don't like She's each just other. Just getting advice about probably being like yeah. exiled from the group. Beverly, oh, that's like a Camille that was like Vanderpump last year. It's very that. It's the same thing. Oh, I, next season. Sorry. Get your For, life together. I know. Sorry. I just thought of it. I honestly think the only person we may see go is Teddy. Right. I like unless Sadly. Denise decides to leave on her own. Yes, I but. think I think Teddy will be. I've said this where it's like. We give undeserving housewives three seasons, not four. A good example is like Megan King Edmonds by her third. We're like, no. Well, well by like, her, yeah, by her yeah. third, she was bad. Yeah, because in the beginning, we did. She yeah. did she, her job. She did, she did, did her, her job. job. She did her job um, very well. But things, I'm trying to think of another example of a three season housewife. Mm, well, I would say Heather Thompson, but she, she was, did great. Yeah. She was great all three. There were There were others, and, and they, they Eileen? just. Eileen was three. three yeah. She also, yeah, by her third, I was like, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I was over her by her. First, but now I, I love but, Eileen. Yeah, I love her. In retrospect. She's, in the retrospect, right. I, she's I, good I, as a friend to me. Great yeah. bouncing like board. Um, <laughs> but also, maybe Erica. This is a good send off for her. Right. I'm so proud her. of her. That was such a nice little moment to see her life come full circle. And it, it really is the Beverly Hills all American dream. Yeah. Is it? She got it. Is it? 
<laughs> to be on Broadway? <laughs> From a go-go dancer to a Broadway headliner? Yeah. On her private jet? Yeah. It's kind of yeah. Just taking steps up. up, up. Yeah. I mean, it almost feels like she knows this might be her last Why do you season. say that, though? I think, I honestly, was, there was talk of her not coming back this season. Right. I think production was like, you either got to, like, step your ass up. This is what concerns are. I think it even, even happened to Dorit where they were like, this is what we need from you. Like, yeah. you and your husband have Show to Show us these finances. Right. Yeah. yeah. But, and I, I think, you know what I feel like happened with Erica? You, she, they had that combo. So in the beginning of the season, she stepped it up. And then she, and then she kind of realized, like, no, I'm not going to force myself to be something I'm not. Like, I'm just going to... Go did, quietly. Right. Did yeah. she know? Yeah. Like, for me, the way that I've watched Erica every season is uh, she doesn't really come to like pick bones with other people. People pick bones with her and she just responds. I just don't think she brings, a, uh, except this season and her first season, I don't know that she even brought that much. It was just more polarizing. That she right. was polarizing. Whereas this season, I was happy to see what she did. But again, it wasn't a lot to justify her, a spot. Her only, so, what, like, so, what, so what are you guys expecting from her? That she's, that's what I mean. We're not. There's nothing to expect. I, just, she's I not, don't know that I expect seen it all. To, yeah. to justify The only her thing, being. I think when we saw her on the junk boat, don't you fucking ever. Like, we right. thought, like, okay, she can play. But we, that's her only, like, engaged right. I did moment. No more I enjoyed her I, and Aaron. Like, oh, yeah, I mean, I hated yeah, Aaron, good. but, like, I enjoyed that the, she was like, I'll buck up. Like, yeah. Like, I'm ready to play, too. On a personal note, I do love that she's mm -hmm. been kind of opening up more about her personal life. Like they her asked her so as well. Yeah. She definitely Edition. asked her. Yep. But that's uh, the thing is well. like, why did we have? I learned more about Garcelle in one season than I did in Erica Fair. in four or five. I see. You know I what's really interesting about Teddy Cash, fucking whatever Melon you call her, Cash. or Melon Cash, or whatever, <laughs> is that. Do you realize that realize that in her three seasons we've never seen parents, mom, dad, cousin, sister, well, anything? Her dad disproves right. of her. Being yeah, but on still, show. but nothing of that. We've seen. She gives us so much on her own. She, she doesn't need it. <laughs> She's on this. <laughs> Anil, get the fuck out of here. But any final thoughts? I actually thought. Yeah. Oh, sorry. To sorry. wrap up Beverly Hills. <laughs> I, I really I just think it's we I'm I love this season. We we realize that we're respecting the season for what it is because we realize that yes, Beverly Hills goes in this thing where they kind of stick to one storyline, but this is the best example of that model right. that we've seen over the past few where they've done this and I take it for what it is and people are not gonna be happy no matter what. I feel like Beverly Hills can never win with viewers. Right. Like never. it's it's the only one that literally can never win. But I will say when people say I want it to be back to the early seasons. Well, think back to the early seasons. They were pretty dark. Right. And this is this is dark and and difficult, but Right. We're at a good place. We're at a good place. This is a good Right. I prefer we'll to go darker. Either. But go right. darker if you need to. <laughs> well, we're gonna be doing a ranking of all the Beverly Hills seasons, so we'll see where this falls. But don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment, give us love, constructive feedback, compliments, DM us, anything. Let us know what you like, what m more things you want to see, things you don't like. Yeah, and, and give us your thoughts on everything that we discussed. We'd love to hear your opinions and if you think that we were right or if you agree with us or yeah. Right. Talk to us. Talk to us. Give us love.